So we just got out of urban surplus. There was a line outside today. We have to wait like what? 10 minutes. Yeah, 15. Coming up next is a village discount near the urban surplus. It looked like the firefighter department. I think it's below a, the train station. Every once in a while, actually every two minutes, a train run by and it's really, really, really loud. It was by far is the best thrift store that I've ever been through. I, I've been to a lot of village discount thrift store, but this is the first time that I've been to that specifically discount. It was really, really big inside. Like they have like, they have sheets, bed sheet, blanket, comf uh, comforter. I was surprised. They have, I mean, they have a lot more stuff that other store didn't have. And there was a lot of people working too, because usually at thrift store, people are not usually pulling the rack up cart around. But today, the first time ever, I see like a lot of people, they are working. Everybody there was wearing masks and it's not too crowded to the point that you couldn't social distancing, which is a good thing. And also they have the bathroom open. Tiniest thing I've ever seen in my life. By the way, the bathroom was really great. It's all the way in the corner in the back of the store. It's almost like a dungeon, like in Snape, Professor Snape. I feel uncomfortable being in there. They have a wild, wild selection of jeans. Let me tell you that. Not a lot of black jeans, though. So. Um, they have a whole selection of new jeans to have tag on them. But one thing I don't like about them is they put them on the higher rack. Really, a lot of taxing in your arm. Kind of sweating through it. We are out. Just finished thrifting. It literally it took, took like almost two hours. Almost maybe. two hours. You know, at the checkout, the lady was like, "Are you guys twins? Do we look like twins?" <laughs> And we're parking at the walking um, parking lot limit 30 minutes when we spent literally two hours in there. I just got home. I was about to do the haul right there. But I, I'm so hungry that I gotta eat first. Whip up this whole meal. Avocado bagel with eggs and a patty. It's 5 p.m. but I'm having coffee. 20 minutes later. Okay, finish eating. All time. Ah, my neck is cracked too. Ooh. Say hi. This shirt is a thrifted shirt too from like last year. So earlier today, this morning, I went near that area, a near the thrifted area because I looked it up from Facebook Marketplace to buy this plants. Let me show you. It was $15. I, in the picture, it looks so much bigger. In the picture, it looks like at least twice as big, twice bigger. But it's so tiny. But you know, whatever, still very cute. Oh, by the way, this pants is Patagonia, but it's not thrifted. I don't know if you can see my tame line or not. So that was my first ever Facebook marketplace, it was really quick. She handed me the plane and I handed her the cash. Uh, very efficient. So last week, so I tried on the pin two weeks ago, something like that. And today I went in and I switched it this. It looked bigger. I hope it's fit because the pitting room is not open there, so I don't know. Also, I picked up the gloves. Only for five dollars, so so the total today at Urban is four fifty eight. Not bad. All of this for fifty dollar at Village Discount. Okay. Of course, I pick up books. <laughs> I read these books way slower than I buy them. But the first one I picked up is Outliers. I already read this in school in eighth grade, but I'm gonna reread it again. It's only a dollar each, by the way. A long way gone. I heard this book is really good. And it's about, I think, a memoir of a boy soldier that's on the front and rich dad, poor dad. I wanted to read this book so for so long, but finally I picked it up. It's only a dollar. What a steal. 
Okay, let me show you what we got. Me and my sister got a village discount. The first one is this one. Jeans again. For $220. I can't read this. $220 Express. It's really long. Really long. I think I'm going to just cut it. A little shardy. Chicken. Ain't going to be even. pick up a bra a sport bra it's look new it's champion i think this is the first time ever that we picked up a undergarment at a thrift store i mean sport bra is okay but like i would not go into like the underwear and socks area i don't think they even sell underwear at thrift store i didn't see any okay my sister pick up pick out this Rip jeans, light, I mean light blue. It's Wild Fable, which is a Target brand. And it's a made in Vietnam. So am I. I don't know where she find this. Probably in the girls section because I did not see them. See this in the women's section. Next up, this is also my sister. She picked this up. I told her that why she picked up this basic ass looking pants. Yeah, but she said, no, I want this medium pants. It's only $1.20. Let me have it. Okay, this is black jeggings. Not really a fan of jeggings. They are comfortable, but they are, But I picked it up because they're Levi's and I need one for this Saturday. My first day at KFC. Wish me luck. Not, it's kind of stretchy, but... Not really jeggings, but it's not like exactly denim either. Well, oh wow, jeggings. They fit all right. They, they do not fit well and I probably won't wear them. They are really saggy. Next up, oh, this is my sister again. Army joggers kind of thing. This was the more expensive one out of all of this. Uh, this one is $8.70, but I think white tag is $2 off today or something like that. So... She took two dollars. This pants that was six seventy, the most expensive item in this whole haul. Oh, this is my favorite item coming up right here. A Gap sweater. It's so thick, and I and I, and I don't have any yellow item in my closet, and for some reason I'm really into yellow these days. So nice and it's thick. It's not itchy. On the inside, which is a plus, and this one is four seventy. Okay, I bought this short. It's like a main short, but it's in the women's section and have this weird thing inside. I don't know whether or not I should cut it or not, but I liked it. It's three twenty. This uh, I pick up another short, it's black. It's not like, it doesn't have this windbreaker material on the outside. When I try it on, the tag actually ripped up because they just stapler the tag, so it's really easy to uh, fall off. And I didn't know that until like, we were checking out and the cashier said that, oh, I can't bring it out unless, you know, because the tag's not there, unless you want to come back tomorrow. And I'm like, no, that's fine, it's fine. So last, my last item is this paint. Similar to my sister jogger, but it's a utility paint. It's more like, more soft. I like this bun up top. Usually I don't like bun on jeans, but for this paint, I do like it. And it's fit really well. And I think it's new too, because of the tag right here. This paint is 420. Okay, this one is my sister buying them for St. Patrick Parade next year, I guess. It's Under Armour, look pretty new, very lightweight, and it's, I don't, I don't see the tag. I don't see the tag, I don't know how she ring it out. I don't know how much that is. Lastly, is this one turtleneck 
another unquestionable item that she bought only cost like 270 i don't know what purpose look kind of small and thin she said that she wanted to be the undershirt i mean i'm not gonna argue with her i told her to come in here and do a haul with me but she said she's busy eating so i guess she's busy eating okay thank you guys for coming to the haul today with me i had fun shopping um uh, honestly thrifting is a way to go thrifting save money it's a lot more fun it's a bonding experience besides that you have saving the world and like thrifting is like an experience that you never know what you're gonna get and there's so many different thrift stores and like they have everything cups mugs pot plants you know a radio hair dryer belt shoes you, you get it thank you for watching see you next time